Good morning from the wilderness. Wow. Best night ever since I came to Malawi. If someone ever told me that I'll be waking up in the wilderness in Malawi, I would definitely tell you that that's a dream. But that dream became a reality. Best days of my life, man. Living my best life. If people tell you that Africans live in the wilderness, tell them it's true. If people ever tell you that Africans live with animals, tell them it's true. Because I'm a living testimony. Whoa. I'm actually staying in a lodge built in a game reserve. So I'm sleeping in the middle of a national park with a river right in front of me. I decided not to close my door and sleep. Ah, I mean, look at that. <laughs> this is how I slept last night. Because I want to have the full experience of this place. It's rather unfortunate that I spent the night alone in the wilderness without my wife. That's the only mistake that I've done. Because this resort is more like a combination of romance and luxury. The meaning of luxury to me is not the material things that you see in the lodge. But to me, the meaning of luxury is waking up in nature. Immersing yourself in nature. I'm just here alone. This place is so huge, like very spacious. I don't know if you guys can see me. I'm just walking from end to end. And I have this whole place to myself everything in here is built with local materials and it's local to the extent that even the owner of this lodge is malawi africa is the best place to be africa is the most exciting continent in the whole world africa is the birthplace of humanity I think I'm married to Africa because the more the more I travel in Africa, the more I get wet to describe this continent because I don't, I don't think I will ever be who I am if I did not believe and embrace Africa. And this is why I'm on this journey to tell each and every one of you to start embracing the motherland. What does Africa means to you? Can I know that in the comment section? What does Africa means to you? To me, it means so much to me that I've invested my hope and my future into it. How about you? I mean, look at this, like, just look at this. Just look at this. Like, this is why I spent a night. Right in front of me is the Boa River. And you could see the sunrise right in front of me. Keep quiet. We are in nature. I just closed my eyes just to listen to the sounds of the chirping birds. It's so therapeutic. It's so peaceful out here. My goodness. If I, if you ever live here, you're definitely going to live long. It's about time Africans embrace this continent, explore it, live in it, invest in it, 
ah i've no words i definitely have no words because people might think i keep repeating the same words it's not it's not my fault because it feels the same way in every part of africa that you go what does africa means to you i really want to know i want to tell you come explore malawi whenever you come to malawi come and live in nature come and immerse yourself in wilderness and whenever you're looking for the best place to live in the wilderness make sure you choose tongole wilderness lot it's my first night in here and i'm loving it it's my first day in here and i don't know what to tell you <laughs> oh my god wow I think I need to show you guys around, man, for you to know what I'm talking about. Oh my goodness, the bet, the bet, the bet. That's a crocodile. Oh my god, eee, you can't see it. <laughs> That's a crocodile. Oh my goodness, walking in the wilderness immersing myself in nature i really love the exclusivity of this lodge because there are only four cottages in here and that's it i mean you don't have to build so many cottages by destroying the environment you keep the environment the way it is just four so at a time only four people are welcome in here i mean if you come with your family you're gonna be in one room yeah so yeah let's take it at eight people allowed in here there's one cottage that takes family so if you want to come with the friends and family that cottage is for you but it feels good knowing that i'm just alone in nature i'm just alone experiencing nature it's so unique and this is what i'm telling you guys man if you're an African, listen to me. Stop going to other part of the world and start looking for what is within Africa and explore it. I mean, you can be from Ghana and fly to Malawi and come and stay in here. You can come all the way from Nigeria. It's exciting to see Africans traveling within Africa. Yes, I know that our leaders are still sleeping. I can testify that because it's about time to open borders it's about time to i mean give visa free for every african to explore there are various african countries because see if you visit africa you find out that you are not a foreigner in any african country because you're going to see similarities of the things that you do in your various countries the food that you eat the culture everything is so similar and I will be so happy to see more Africans traveling within Africa. You see, imagine I'm a Ghanaian and I'm in Malawi and I'm in enjoying Malawi. I don't feel like a foreigner in here. After coming to Malawi, I will tell you that Malawians are the friendliest, kindest and happy people in Africa. No doubt about that. So they won't even make you feel like you are a foreigner in here they treat you as their own you know we go to so many countries we spend our money in different countries and at the end of the day we get disrespected no one is going to disrespect you whenever you embrace what is in africa and that's what i'm telling you it's about time our leaders wake up open the borders to allow africans to come and experience what is in africa you know it, 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 it's sad when you go to places like this and you don't see your own and you see people from other parts of the world experiencing what is meant for people on the land. For somebody coming all the way from America to Europe, it's so easy to enter to our various African countries than even ourselves as Africans. Your honeymoon can be here. Your wedding anniversary can be here. Your 
10 days holidays can be here. I mean, when you take vacations from work, it can be here. Let's normalize Africans traveling within Africa to experience what we have in Africa. I think I need to convince you more. So I won't stop here. I'm going to show you more of what I see. Maybe you will come here tomorrow. This lodge is all about exclusivity. Whenever you come in here, your food will be prepared from scratch. Most of the crops or most of the vegetables that are used in here are grown within the enclave. So whenever you come here, you know that you're going to be hungry in the next 30 minutes. Make sure you order your food in the next one hour. Do you get it? So one hour ahead. So they'll use 30 minutes to prepare your food and you will eat fresh food from the garden of Eden. And believe me, I have been here and none of the food goes wrong, man. I know you all will be inspired after seeing this video and you might want to come live and experience such a beautiful place in Africa. Yes. This is Africa, this is Malawi, but we are not in the capital of Malawi. So wherever you fly from your various countries, just land in the capital. But if you really want to get here faster, there is an airstrip within the game reserve. But if you love nature and you want to drive along the coast, I mean, I'm saying the coast because Lake Malawi is here. So if you want to drive along Lake Malawi, you drive in and you got to this place is called Nkotankota Game Reserve. As soon as you get here, all you need to do is to drive 18 kilometers from the Game Reserve gate to this place. Listen, I thought I was scared, but when I got here last night, I felt like that was the best thing I've ever done in my whole life. So yeah, I just want you to come along with me. Whenever you come with a car, this is your car park. You're gonna park right over here and walk to the reception if you walk to the reception they're gonna meet you with juices i did that yesterday that's why I, I i couldn't show you right now but let me take you to the reception man come along with me should i tell you that the breeze in here feels different or should i tell you that the beds in here chefs differently or should i tell you that the sounds of the hippos in here is so different what else do I tell you? Even the crocs in here are so big. I don't even know what I'm saying, but you can follow with that. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just super excited whenever I find myself in nature. But don't worry, if you're a big fan of Wi-Fi, when you come in here, you got Wi-Fi at the reception, but in your room, no internet. It's just you, your soul, your body, immersed in nature. Africa is a paradise and once again God took his time to create Africa for Africans and it's about time each and every African enjoy and experience what God gave to them. Anytime I talk about Africa I become so emotional because I feel like Africa got everything and I want to ask you a question. We got everything but what else don't we have? Leave that in the comment section. So welcome to Tongole Wilderness Lodge. And whenever you come here, you meet this gentleman who is, um, what's your name by the way? Yobe Thompson. Yobe Thompson? Yeah. The manager of this resort? I'm the manager of this place, yes. That's amazing. It's yeah. good to see you. Thank you. I had an awesome night and I'm telling them to come and spend a night in here too but maybe they won't believe me. So I want to ask you, what is so unique about the lodge? Well, um, as you have rightly said, hmm. um, we are right in the forest reserve of Nkota Gota Wildlife Reserve. Wow. That's the first thing. And when you're done with uh, the hectic life out there, you come here 
you just detoxify yourself. So this is um, the best place that you can relax. It's unspoiled place. It's disconnected from the rest of the world. So it's just you and nature. Just you and nature. But I, I love the design of the reception. Yeah. Mind blowing, right? Took, took some brains to come up with this. Creativity. Yes. At its best. It's like wood. It's our wood. Everything. Just to, to blend with the nature that we are in. So this is why it's called an echo lodge. And we've been operating without disturbing the environment itself. And that's the reason behind this structure. This is beautiful. It is. And one of the best things that I've heard about this resort is the fact that the owner of this resort is a woman and she built this in honor of his younger brother who died at the age of 16 in London. May his soul rest in perfect peace. My name is Tiwo Tiwonge Kalanga Kalua. I'm the sales and marketing person for Tongole Wilderness Retreat. So, uh, Tongole was built in memory of my late brother. His name was Vitumbiko Kalanga. So, we used to stay in the United Kingdom and then he was, um, he died in a car accident. On the 31st of January 2007, when he was coming from a football training. Um, he was a really good footballer, so he, 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 was, he was signed at um, a certain football club that he was supposed to go play. So every time my dad used to drop him, every Wednesday, but this Wednesday he told my dad that I'm going to go with my friends for the football training. And unfortunately, he never came back home. That's where the accident happened. Um, so, by the time that he was having the accident, he had a girlfriend. They had only dated for one month, and the name of the girl was Hannah. So Hannah, Vitu introduced us to the family. My brother's name was Vitu Mbiko. So Vitu introduced us to the girlfriend's family, and we just clicked. So when he died, we came back home, and that he, he got buried here. So the family, Hannah's family, wanted to come and visit, see where he was buried. So that's how they got to see Malawi. And as they were traveling about, uh, Hannah's dad and my dad, Hannah's dad David, and my dad became really close. And they agreed that, like, what is it that we can do in memory of him? So that's where the Tongole dream started. And they built Tongole in memory of him, in memory of Vitu. What is the motive behind it? Okay, so my brother wanted to be a doctor. He died when he was 16, he was still in high school. So he was, he just had started his A levels, lower A levels. So he wanted to be a doctor. So we wanted to keep that dream alive to help the community around Tongole, those that are not able to have finances to support their children for school. So that's how the dream of Tongole Foundation started. So what happens is we find uh, some guests that come to Tongole, we get to get them to meet the community. So when they want, they will help, sometimes they help the community, they say we want to help. So we thought that it would be a good idea to have a school close by, but because many kids around that community used to travel a long distance to go and study. So that's where the idea came to build a school close by so that kids should not walk for long distances. And also, we find kids and we link them with sponsors in the UK. So people from the UK, they can come and they will decide we want to sponsor this kid. So that's how we help the community. So what we do, we also go around communities and their schools that we know that they're, they're lacking. We demolish old buildings and then build, um, build new schools. For example, Changkokwe School, we had to demolish some buildings and rebuild the school because the buildings were completely run down. 
So we built and we found another sponsor who provided the solar system. So we put solars there and then also provided the school with tablets that the kids should learn through tablets. So we, we usually get volunteers from the United Kingdom that come and help us. So they will pay for the lodge. At the same time, they will also pay something towards the foundation. And they come themselves to paint the schools and to provide the materials for the schools like pencils, notepads, and everything else that the kids need. And they also find other kids that they sponsor. This is beautiful, man. Like yeah. everything here is wood, with, with the exception of this. I think inside here it's gonna be clay, because clay goes to it. Exactly, that. you just got it right. Hi. Oh. <laughs> what did you say? Bewo. Hello. Oh, hello. Yeah. <laughs> Please greet me in an African language. Chichawa? Is it Chichewa. Chichewa. How yeah. do you say hello in Chichawa? Takulandelani. 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 Welcome it. to Malawi. <laughs> <laughs> Last yeah. night, there was bonfire right there, but I, I, I love your decks, man. Yeah, they're very good. Um, they're just strategically placed for observation. So sometimes if you will kind of this guy who don't like moving around, you just sit there, watch bird life, you watch the animals coming in, drink and go. So you got, we got everything, just a package in here. This is why I'm telling you, Africa is a paradise and it's about time Africans come and experience it. What is the name of the lodge once again? It's called Tongole Wilderness Retreat. Okay, yeah. it's a retreat. It so is. I have to take you to my room where I go for retreat whenever I spend a night in here. So I'm just gonna do a room review so that I will convince you to come and stay here. I really love how this eco lodge celebrates three things about Africa. African excellence because it's owned by an African. African's beauty because we are surrounded by natural beauty. And finally, African culture. This is the African way of living. And it feels so good that it got a big touch of modernity to what we used to live in those days. Living in a touch house. I mean, a king lives in a touch house with the queens, but unfortunately, I'm here without a queen. That is the only thing that I'm not celebrating about Africa today. But anyway, let me take you to where I spend the night. One thing that I really love, the fact that it's so spacious, you got the entire building to yourself. Wow, this is indeed a palace and in the palace i love the fact that everything you see is wood and this wood can be found in this wilderness so basically you are living in the wilderness surrounded by everything within the wilderness huh? oh my goodness the bed is extremely soft that i felt like it was easy to make babies in here but anyway the best way to enjoy without making babies is use your pillow. I'm saying all this thing because in the room, every artifact in here demonstrates that you're not supposed to be here alone. You got the king right here and the queen at the other side. And in case you want to make babies in here, you got the baby right in the middle. Now you know what I'm saying. Clap for me in the comment section. <laughs> I'm super genius, man. But hey, do me a favor, like this video now. Thank you. Subscribe and help us reach 2 million subscribers by the end of this month. We can do it. All it takes for you to do is to click on the share button so that others can have a piece of this video. So, it's so spacious. You can just sit in here. I was working mm -hmm. last night, just right here, just doing my thing. and. That 
I'm done. If you want to charge your stuff, you can charge it in here. And if you want to make yourself some tea, because it's extremely cold out here. So make sure you drink hot tea, no cold water. This is my favorite part of the room. This is a jacuzzi made out of the clay soil from the land in here. So basically, if I was not alone, if I had a loved one in here, I would have just been in here together with, and then we just enjoy the view from outside. So out here, you can still see the river in here. If you don't want the river view, all you need to do is to close this. But believe me, the best view is when this is open. Wow, it gives you more like a, a leaf. I don't know if you can see it. That's the shape of a leaf. Do I make sense? I don't know, but let me know in the comment section. <laughs> this is designed with wood. Everything in here is wood. This is wood. This is also wood. And you got your hot water and cold water, so don't worry. And if in case you don't want to use the jacuzzi, you got a proper shower. And when I showered last night, it was extremely hot and I felt so good. But you see this? This is more like a partition. So this is my towel, I did this. I closed it. Now, I'm gonna open and take you guys to the room. Sorry, not to the room, to the toilet. And even in the toilet, this is the only ceramic thing you can find in here, this one. But yet, this one is still wood. Wood and clay combined together. The tea roll, that's creativity at its best, man. See, wood, this one, wood. Where you hang your towel, this wood. Everything in here is wood. Where you put your dead clothes, is wood. Where you hang your clothes, is wood. Where you put your phone in case you want to just put your phone out here. Do you love to live in a wood house? Welcome. Enjoy the rest of the chasing waterfalls and when I came to Tongola and they told me that there is a waterfall around which is five kilometers I'm like you know what I'm gonna hike just to go see it. because I'm just doing a collective of different waterfalls across Africa and probably this is gonna be the fifth one of seeing a waterfall in a different country let's go Woo. more like a, a spring. I don't know how to call it. It's beautiful. My water passes here? Yeah. This is in the whole place. Get full. Yeah. yeah. This is beautiful, man. Ah, this is elephant poop. Yeah. So it means elephants are around here. No, they, 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 they can come as far as here. Oh, really? Yeah. See? What's elephant poop? Yeah. Does this waterfall have a name? Yes, it's called Muta. Muta? Muta. Motor waterfall. Motor, motor falls. Motor falls. Yeah. Okay. So let's go see how beautiful motor looks like. It's really exciting to see a new waterfall that I've never seen across my travels. And it looks so incredible behind me. This is what proves to me that God exists. <laughs> 